Hello everybody, it's time for some spontaneous, powerful worship today. I'm actually going to be singing the scriptures. I'm going to be singing from Psalm 84, so grab your Bible or just sit, listen, and enjoy because God is going to speak to us through his word. Amen. My name is Jenny Weaver, and I sing the scriptures. I live in Florida. I'm a mom, I'm a wife, and I'm a traveling minister, an author, and teacher. And I'm here to lead worship today, and I'm also going to pray for needs. Hallelujah. I see everybody jumping on. Listen, when you jump on, let me know you're on. Good morning. Hey, Monty. Hey, Dina. Hey, Christina Campbell. Megan, Bernita, Andrea Anderson, my new friend, my new sister in the Lord. Hello, Johanna Zan, Sanjay, Zan, Sanjay. All right, and then once you guys jump on, I'm going to share the video. Listen, please do me a favor. Help me share the video. Y'all know I need help. I do need help sharing the video. <laughs> put it in a group, put it in a watch party. Let's get this video out there. I'm gonna be singing from Psalm 84 today. If you've never heard anyone sing the scriptures, I believe you will truly enjoy it. Most of the time, the Lord will actually speak through his word. If we yield ourselves to the Lord, he is speaking. His promises are ringing loudly over us and his word is yes and amen promises are yes and amen. Hallelujah. What's going on? Kimberly Mack. Kelly. Hello from the Philippines. Thank you, Jesus. There's the video. Now I can share it. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for your favor. Can we just give God praise for today? Just begin to write in the comments a praise to God. Just let him know that you're thankful, that he's worthy. We give him all the praise today. Australia's in the house. Look at that. That's so awesome. I see Texas. Hey, Manuel. Kelly McGee from Arkansas, awesome. Represent your state or your country wherever you are watching from. Okay, I'm really gonna get it together. I tried to share, so you guys will have to help me. Hallelujah, Psalm 84. I'm gonna wait for some more people to jump on. But hello, 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 I wanna greet you. Hi, Sarah. I don't think I've seen your name before. From Nepal. Yeah, 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 yeah. We praise you, Jesus. Yeah, 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 yeah. We lift your name on high. We thank you for what you're doing. We thank you for what you've already done in our lives. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, come on. Sarah from Mexico, come on. Thank you guys for sharing the video. Let's go forth in the name of the Lord. I'm going to start reading from Psalm 84, verse 8 says, Hear my prayer, O Lord. God Almighty, listen to me, O God of Jacob. Look upon our shield. Oh God, look with favor on your anointed one. Come on, let that be your prayer today. Hear my prayer, oh Lord. Listen to me, oh God of Jacob. Look upon our shield, oh God. Look with favor. Listen to me, 
zero on your child look with favor look with favor God There we go. Come on. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God's already moving. He's going to answer the cries of the desperate, the hungry, those who hunger and thirst after righteousness. The Bible says you'll be filled. And verse 10 says, Better is one there in your courts. strength 
and healing and deliverance. He carries it all in his hands. Stretch out your hand out. Somebody type that in, say, stretch out your hand, God. Say, stretch out your hand, God. Come on, but you just ask him today. Stretch out your hand. Stretch out your hand, God. Hallelujah. Would you begin to share the video? God's spirit is moving over his people. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. says that the Lord he doesn't withhold any good thing he won't withhold it from those who walk blameless he blesses you with all spiritual blessings and seated you in heavenly places don't you dare fear, fear not, for the Lord is here. Just a moment in His presence, just a moment in His glory, just a moment at His feet, changes everything. moment in his presence just a moment in his glory just a moment at his feet changes everything Bev we just pray for your shoulder right now in the name of Jesus and I just command it to be healed right now go ahead and begin to move your shoulder and move in faith that as soon as you move it and you start stretching it You're going to feel the healing power of the Holy Ghost hit your body in such a way in the name of Jesus as we continue to say, stretch out your hand, God. He's able. Stretch out your hand, God. He's able to move. Stretch out your hand, God. And I hear the Lord saying that he's going to heal someone you've been dealing with pain in your ankles it's swollen up almost twice the size that it's supposed to be and in the name of Jesus the swelling leaves now and the pain leaves now who is that for begin to move it around begin to rotate it and you'll see that the swelling is going to go down it's going down it's going down it's going down in the name of Jesus it's the Holy Spirit it's the Holy Spirit he is the healer our God. Come on, you guys, let's pray for Jennifer. She just wrote, I always have ringing in my right ear, and I believe that the Spirit of our God has you on here so that He can heal you. Do you believe that the Lord will heal you today? In the name of Jesus, we command that ringing to stop now. In Jesus' name, go. Every bit of it, go now never to return again in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus come on help me pray stretch out your hand God stretch out your hand God in the name of Jesus we pray over every mental illness mental illness must bow to the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus, we command that your mind be sound. In the name of Jesus, stretch out your hand, God. Your hand isn't too short. And you're not deaf, and you're not sleeping. There's power in the name of Jesus. There's power in the name of the Lord. There's power. The name of Jesus. Yes, come on, say ringing go now. That's your anchor. 
ankle, Helen Thomas, in the name of Jesus, you're being healed. Some of you need to stir yourselves up in the Holy Ghost, building up your most holy faith, praying in the Spirit. That's the word. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. It's been a long time. Begin to pray in the Spirit. different, unique, and unusual right now. Some of you have never seen this kind of flow of the Holy Spirit, and God wants to show you He will not be boxed in. He will not be boxed into a Sunday morning. He will not be boxed in. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, we decree and declare that Jesus Christ heals MS. Uh, Nicole Smith says she's feeling weak, multiple sclerosis. In the name of Jesus, be healed, be whole. We command every part of your body to line up with the will of heaven right now. The Bible says by his stripes, you are already healed. And in the name of Jesus, we decree and we declare. Come on, I need some prayer warriors to help me on here. Share the video, get more people on here begin to help me pray. Oh, a moment in your presence, cancer will not come back. A moment in the glory, you're being healed. A moment at His feet, changes everything. Chains are falling to the ground. A moment in His presence, oh, just a moment in right now in the name of Jesus it's by his spirit and by his power by his spirit and by his power in the name of Jesus glaucoma we curse you we command you to go right now in the name of Jesus clear sight in Jesus name Megan says I feel a calming hallelujah the peace of God will guard our hearts and our minds in Christ Jesus Changes everything. Yes, thank you for praying, Colleen. Addiction from pornography. We break that stronghold in the name of Jesus. We break the spirit of perversion that would try to come against God's children. In the name of Jesus, it stops now, even the desire. It stops now. God, go to the very root. Go to the very root of the thing in the name of Jesus. God's healing. That's what he's doing. Whatever you need, I, I'm, I'm urging you. Reach out. Ask the Lord now. While the waters are troubled, sickle cell must go in the name of Jesus. Cancer must go. Addiction to nicotine must go. Addiction to drugs and alcohol must go. Rejection. Some of you are dealing with heavy rejection. You're always offended if someone doesn't recognize you. You're always offended and comparing yourself to other people. Social media has got you looking at what everybody else is doing. You don't think that you add up. You don't think that you're worthy. You don't think that you're good enough. You don't think you pray hard enough. You don't think that you can be bold like that one or sing like that one and I break that spirit of rejection off of you right now in the name of Jesus. That spirit of rejection that would cause you to hide, that spirit of rejection that would cause you to go into isolation and even bring depression and torment of the mind. I command that spirit to loose its hold in the name of Jesus. And your body's healed with it. God's doing multiple miracles right now. Multiple miracles. He's healing the heart. He's revealing the area of unforgiveness. And once you forgive, watch, He's going to heal your body. My God. Thank you, Jesus. Begin to forgive. 
forgive, begin to let go of that offense. And once you do, I want you to check your pain level. Check and see. God's going to heal you. I'm telling you, obedience is the key today. Don't say, but I just can't. I just can't. It's just not time yet. Do not. Don't do that. The devil is a liar and he's trying to keep you in a prison. And we break and bind his deception and his lies. You may not be able to do it, but you know what? You can do all things through Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. Even Jesus said, Father, forgive them. Come on, be healed. Multiple miracles. Miracle signs and wonders. Miracle signs and wonders. Come on, Goldie. Miracle signs and wonders. Don't let this moment pass you by. Don't let this moment pass you by. Miracle signs and wonders. We decree and declare miracle signs and wonders. Be healed in your body. Someone's being healed in their neck area. Be healed. I see swollen glands. Thyroid issues are being healed right now in the name of Jesus. Thyroid issues are being healed right now in the name of Jesus. Someone's been dealing with your hormones and been completely out of whack. It's throwing you off. That is not just a normal thing that we have to accept. We bind and break that. We're under heaven's government, the kingdom of God. We're under heaven's law. We're not subject to the law of this earth or the devil's kingdom. No, 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 no. Come out of that thinking. Well, this is just how it's going to be. The devil is a liar. It's going to be how my God says it's going to be because I stand on his word. Come on. I'm a little fired up today, as y'all can see. I'm just tired of the devil lying to God's people. And I'm tired of God's people coming to alignment with the lie. We gotta get free, guys. We gotta get free. We gotta get free. No condemnation. Don't say, oh my gosh, that's me. Okay, that's me, but you know what? Thank you, Lord, for your revelation. And I'm going to receive your truth today. I'm going to walk in victory. I may not know exactly what to do or how to do it. But God, I'm just going to say yes today. Yes. Yes. I'm going to come into alignment with your word. Yes, I am healed. Yes, I am whole. Yes, I'm set free. Yes, I'm delivered. Yes, I'm walking in victory. In the name of Jesus. This sickness is not unto death, but that God be glorified. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. that you are touching her right now, God. You call those things out, Lord, not just to say things, but because you want to do it. Oh, my Lord, I feel the presence of God. The presence of God all over you, Laura, for the thyroid and hormones in the name of Jesus. Oh, 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 oh. I'm going to let that comment go. I'm not even going to address it. Oh, oh. God be glorified. God be glorified. God be glorified. Yes. Oh, someone was just healed in your back and in your shoulder. Someone was just healed. The pain is gone. Come on, testify. 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 We will testify, testify, testify. Some of you don't even want to check because you just prayed too long and it hasn't happened yet. And I dare you, I challenge you, I encourage you, check again. Oh, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you for that. Check again. He's stretching out his mighty hand. Check again. I feel that so strong in my spirit. I can I can sense that someone's got a lot of tightness in your back area, up by your shoulders, shoulder blades. I know that because I don't ever have that. 
and all of a sudden I begin to feel this intense, almost like it's hot, like it's heat on it. And so receive that right now in the name of Jesus. I don't know if you stretched it. I don't know if you pulled something, but we call it to come back into alignment and the pain is leaving in the name of Jesus. We command that demon to stop torturing your mind, whoever that was. Come on, that was for you back in shoulders. Jesus. Pray in the Holy Ghost. God's going to reveal his word for you. Pray in your own home, right on your own job. You don't even have to pray out loud. You can pray inside. Pray all the time. Ask again, check it again, stretch out your legs, check it again, move your wrists, check it again, bend down, check it again, check it again, check it in faith, God we praise you for your healing power. For those that believe, for those that believe, we're gonna lay hands on the sick and they'll be healed. We're gonna cast out evil spirits and they must go in the name of Jesus. I command the spirit of infirmity, sickness, and disease go right now. That commands sickness to bow. It's the name of Jesus that commands your mind to be sound. Oh, and cancer is healed. It dries up right now under the name of Jesus. Come on, we all come into agreement right now in the name of Jesus. in the lives of your people. I was just listening to a teaching from my spiritual father, my apostle. He was talking about the word of knowledge. You know, it's one of the gifts of the Spirit. And you know, if you pray for a gift, you know, the Lord is not stingy. He's not just like, nah, I'm not going to give this one to you. The Lord knows if you pray with the right motive, Lord, I really want this gift. I want to bless your people. I want to be walking in the fullness of who you are. And I want to have all the gifts that you've given. He said, you bless me with every spiritual blessing. You seated me in heavenly places. And I receive that. And you pray with the right motive, not for your own gain, but that God may be glorified through his son, Jesus Christ. I'm telling you, God will give it to you. So if you're on here and you want to move in the word of knowledge, I just encourage you, just write in the comments, yes, I want to move in the word of knowledge. If you want to move in the prophetic gifting, like you feel like, you know, God, I feel like I'm drawn to the prophetic. You know, even Paul said, I pray that you all prophesy. I wish that we all did, he said. And it's a good thing. It's a good thing. so that unbelievers can know the Lord, so that the church can be equipped and built up. So let me know what you're believing God for as we shift to a different vein right now. I believe God's still going to heal people. So if you're just on the line, you're like, 
that was my leg, that was my wrist. I'm just sitting here, just keep moving it around. I'm just waiting for the Lord. I believe that if you just continue to press in and have faith, that you will be healed on this very live in the name of Jesus. And some of you are going to even wake up tomorrow and go, oh, it's gone. You won't even know the exact point when you got healed, but God is healing you. I love how the Lord moves. Okay, let's see. Yes. Okay, come on. Activation right now in the name of Jesus. I just impart that right now in the name of Jesus. A boldness to step out. A boldness to step out and God wants to stir the gifts of the Spirit. Do not forbid. Do not forbid. The word says do not forbid. Some of you on here, you may have that religious mindset where the gifts are all done. No, they're not. Trust me, if they needed them then, we certainly need them now. More so. My God. Hallelujah. So, Father, we just thank you for the, the gift of faith. Come on. That's a gift. Pray for that. God, I want the gift of faith. I want the gift of word of knowledge. Word of wisdom. Come on. The gift of the working of miracles. Working of miracles. Come on. The gift of healing. Come on. Some of you are actually called to move heavily in the gift of healing. Healing in your hands. And the Lord is going to begin to stir the other gifts. You'll have a word of knowledge. And then you'll be able to pray. the throne. Yes, Sarah, come on, I always say that. The gig is up on religion. Come on, the gift of prophecy. You stir that right now in the name of Jesus. It's not spooky, it's not weird, it's the testimony of Jesus, the Bible says. We stir that up right now. The gift of various kinds of tongues. That's the, that's the gift. It's the gift of various kinds of tongues. Speaking in tongues is it's a natural thing for all believers. The Lord will impart the gift of various kinds of tongues to one, to those that ask. Come on. The interpretation of tongues in the name of Jesus. Stir that up. Stir that up right now in the name of Jesus. Stir it in your people, God. Stir it in your people, God. Bring back the gifts. Bring back the gifts. Thank you. Discernment. I knew I was one. Discerning of spirits. Not discerning what your neighbor is doing. <laughs> Some people say, I just discern that. You can easily see that sometimes on people's lives, but the gift is actually discerning of spirits. To know what's behind a thing. I believe that the Lord wants to activate that in your lives so that you can know. When the enemy brings you a thought, you can go, wait a minute, I'm discerning the spirit behind this thought. It's not of God. It's not good. So I cast that down and I take every thought captive into the obedience of Christ Jesus. When you hear certain teaching, certain doctrine, you can discern the spirit behind a thing. Not so that you can go off on them on Facebook and create this big argument. That you can pray that the Lord would lead them into the truth. And that you can listen to sound doctrine. Oh, oh, oh. So Father, we thank you for... For stirring up the gifts. If you've never had the gift of prophecy, ask the Lord. If you've never had the gift of various kinds of tongues, pray and ask and then believe that God is a God that He gives good gifts unto His children. Come on, come on, come on, come on. I pray.
pray for all of these gifts to be activated in my life. And I believe that the Holy Spirit releases a certain measure and a certain grace of different giftings for certain times. Sometimes I'll be in the grocery store and the Lord will release a specific kind of gift. Sometimes I go into praying into various kinds of tongues. I'm like, I don't even know what kind of dialect that was, but it certainly was a different tongue that I'm used to. Why does the Lord do that? You know, sometimes we may not know the answer behind a thing, but if we give him our yes, he will be able to move. His ways are higher than our ways. His thoughts are higher than our thoughts. Oh, oh, oh. I feel like I was teaching on this life. Speaking of teaching, I actually teach. I have an online academy. There are, I think right now, 1,083 students in my academy. They're taking various classes. Um, But I just launched our membership so you can get a brand new teaching, a 20-day teaching, video lessons, walkthrough, live interaction, live Q&A, webinars, a prayer wall like if you're dealing with rejection you go click prayers for rejection you let that pray um, you let that play and you come into agreement with the word of the Lord I pray those prayers for you I think I'm gonna do one today I'll upload it this is for all the students that are watching I'm gonna do one on the gifts of the spirit and let's pray for that Um, there's also a worship wall where you can hear me do this exact thing right there on the worship wall. And so go to my website, Jenny Weaver Worships. Who's on here that can type that in for me? I didn't see Adriana today. Uh, So JennyWeaverWorships.com and you can join us. I'm going to close it down probably tomorrow or Friday morning. You are very funny. I hope so. (laughs) I wouldn't want to be those people that are just stuck in just a bitterness. Their face looks bitter. Their actions are bitter. They don't look like they have the joy of the Lord. I don't want to be that person. I'm sorry. It's not going to happen. He's brought me through too much. The joy of the Lord truly is my strength. I laugh at the days to come. Come on. Is anybody with me? So yeah, and we have a book club as well. Uh, thank you, KM. KM is one of my students. Hallelujah. Thank you, Amanda. Thank you, Monty. Monty is one of my students. Marilyn's one of my students. Bernita is one of my students. My God. I think we got all the students on here. Yana is a sister of mine. We used to go to church together and she moved to Georgia. I love her. So, yeah, join us. I literally made it for next to nothing. You can literally join for next to nothing each month. And so I bless you in the name of the Lord. I'm going to be on tomorrow um, at 10 a.m. So please begin to share the video. You know, God wants to speak to his people. Thank you. I got on live, Natalie, and I realized I didn't have any lip color or anything on. I was like, oh my gosh. So... <laughs> I'm not being vain, but I am particular about looking put together. It's my thing. It doesn't have to be your thing. All right, what else? My apostle was making um, jokes this past weekend when I went to a minister with him. He said he was going to try to catch me um, not made up, and I just bind that in the name of Jesus. (laughs) I find it, I find it, I find it, I find it. Well, I pray that you were blessed. I believe that a lot of people were healed on this live. You know, the Lord loves to heal. The glow of the Holy Ghost, come on. It's a joy that's just deep down in me when I go through issues. I'm telling y'all, I have a joy. I go through issues and I have a joy going through them. I'm not like laughing when situations happen. I feel the effect of that. 
but the joy is an unshakable, unmovable, a soundness that my God has brought me out of so much. I know he's going to bring me out of this one. So I'm waiting and looking in expectation for the manifestation of the victory. Oh, glory to God. Well, I love y'all and I will see you tomorrow at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Consider becoming a supporter of God's 401 page and I bless you in the name of the Lord. Bye-bye.